now we can go through some examples of arithmetic in the Python console. Let's look at 2 plus 4 times 3. In this circumstance here we're going to do 12 plus 2, not 6 times 3. This is because multiplication, being the star, has a higher order of precedence than the addition being the plus. So we'll get the result of 12 plus 2 being 14. This also applies for subtraction, such that we do 4 multiplied by 3, which is 12, and then take 2. Or if we did 2 plus 4, we'd get 3.33333, which is 2 plus what is the result of 4 divided by 3 because it is done first. So it's 2 plus 1.33333, which is 3.333. If we did want to do addition first, we'd simply put it inside the bracket, such that 2 plus 4 divided by 3 is equal to 2.0. In these last two circumstances, we have what is called floating point values. These are simply just any values with decimal points, but it's what they are called in Python. Python does store these values different, so it's good to get used to using floating points and whole numbers being integers. So if we did want to convert it to an integer, we could use the int function being int, then in brackets, using two sets of brackets, remembering because we want 2 plus 4 to be done first. So now we'll get 2, which simply removes the decimal point, it does not round it off, because it's the int function. So if we look at the example of 5 divided by 3, which gives us 1.6666666 and we use int 5 divided by 3 this will simply give us 1 because it removes all the decimal point values and it does not round it off. If we however did want to round off 5 divided by 3 we can get round 5 divided by 3 which is rounding off 1.6666 to the nearest value which is 2. Though Something to remember in Python is that when you round values such that rounding of 5 divided by 2, you actually get 2, although 5 divided by 2 does equal 2.5. This is because when Python stores floating point numbers, it stores an approximation. Sometimes when you deal with floating point numbers and you recur them many times, you may not get the desired result, so it's handy just to know this. So that if you get strange numbers occurring, and maybe because you're dealing with floating points, and it rounds them off slightly. Now let's look at some more examples. Let's look at 2 to the power of 2. So we get 4. So if we're doing to the power of, we use two multiplication symbols. So we're getting 2 to the power of 2. So 2 to the power of 3 will give you 8 and 2 to the power of 4, 16, 2 to the power of 5, 32. 3 to the power of 3, 27, 3 to the power of 2, 9. If we however wanted to do the square root of a number, we can do say 1000 to the power of 1 divided by 3. Now as you can see here, as we said before, the expected result should be 10. But because of the way Python deals with floating point numbers, there is a slight rounding error, so we do not actually get the result we desire. Though, we can round 1000 to the power of 1 divided by 3. Now in this circumstance, we'll round it off to 10, which is the result we expected. So we did 100 to the power of 1 divided by 2, we will get 10 which is the result we expect. So as we can see with the number 1000, we're getting the third root, the cube root. So we're doing 1000 to the power of 1 divided by the number we want to do the root of. And in the case of 100 here, we just want the square root being the number 2. So we're doing 100 to the power of 1 divided by the number we want to do square root of. So let's say we've got a more practical example of a quadratic equation given to us and we want to find out the result such that we've got 10 is equal to a 
minus 4 is equal to b and 10 is equal to c. x is any value along the x axis, such as the result we get with the y point at the point we put in x. So let's say x is equal to 0. At the point x is equal to 0 on the axis, y will be equal to 10. We'll find out how it works in the console here. So we're going to 10 times brackets 10 to the power of 2 because 10 is the variable we're putting in as x. Then we're going to plus minus 4 times 10. Then we're going to plus 10. The result in this circumstance is 970. So we've put in or we use a calculator, a graphics cal calculator if you want. You can calculate this at the point where x is equal to 10, y is equal to 970. Let's say x is equal to 2, we we'll go 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 plus minus 4 times 2 plus 10. So at the point where x is equal to 2, y is equal to 42.